Logplot is an easy-to-use log plotting program with almost unlimited flexibility in log layout. When you start up Logplot, you'll see the main program window with the name of the current project folder at the top, a project manager pane showing all of the Logplot files in the current project folder, a blank data editor tab where you can open, save data files, or enter data for a new borehole, and a log designer tab where you can view the current log design, open a different design, or create a new one. The designer is divided into panes where you'll design the different portions of your log. The log header will plot at the top of the log, the log body is where the downhole data will plot, and the log footer will be at the bottom of the log Choose which panes are visible here. In this area, you'll see all of the items in the log design. You can sort them, and you can hide the pane to save space. We'll open a different project folder and open one of the saved log designs by double-clicking on the design's name. You can hover over a name and see a preview of the design. Header and footer items can be positioned by clicking and dragging with the mouse or you can double-click on the item to manually edit the horizontal and vertical document coordinates. When you click in one of the header or footer design panes, you'll see the design items which are available over here to the left. The headers and footers share the same design tools. The log body is made up of items which are column-based. To reposition columns, just click and drag them with your mouse or you can double-click on the item to adjust its position and other settings. Each column is assigned a unique name. That's how it will match with the data. Click in the log body design pane to see the design items which are available here. You can click on any design item in the body, the header, or the footer, and it will be highlighted below in the item view. You can also double click on an item in the list view to access its settings. To add an item to the log design, just click on the tool button, position the cursor where you want to insert it, and click the mouse. Type in a name for the item, establish the other settings, and click Apply. You can resize the column and adjust its placement by clicking and dragging in the Design pane. Just click on the Save button to save the changes you've made to your log design. To access the Data Editor window, click on the Data tab. We'll open a saved data file using the Project Manager. Just double-click. Logplot data files are made up of tab data sheets where the different types of data are entered. The format of the data sheets varies from tab to tab, depending on the type of data being listed. The names of the sheets or columns must match the items in the log design for Logplot to know where to plot the data. To add a new data sheet to the current file, go to the Data menu, choose New Data Page, and select the item. Use the Check Data Against Log Design menu option to compare the items in the data file versus the log design. Here's the water level column we just added. We can add a new data sheet for that automatically using the Update Data File from Log Design option. Here's the new data sheet linked to the water levels column ready for entering data. And you can click and drag to change the order of the data tabs. Save changes to the data file using the Save button. To generate the graphic log, click the lightning bolt button. The default starting and ending depths are pulled from the data file. You can override these to plot a different depth range. The vertical scale and units can be specified here. If you don't know a specific scale, you can just click here to fit the log to a single page. Use these settings to choose between a page break log or a continuous log. When you're ready to create the log, 
click the Process button. The graphic log is displayed in a Log View tab. You can use these controls to change any of the display settings. For example, enter a different scale, click Apply, and the log will be regenerated at the new scale, now extending over multiple pages. The page count is shown here. Or let's say you wanted exactly 25 feet to plot on each page. Just set that number here, click the Units per Page button, and the scale will be recalculated. Click Apply, and the log will be redrawn again, now with 25 feet per page. Use these controls to adjust the header and footer settings, for example, to choose Header 2 for the second page. Save the graphic log to open later by clicking the Save button. Type in a name for the log, and you'll see it now displayed under Compiled Logs in your Project Manager. To export your log as PDF, go to the File Export as PDF menu option. Use other file menu options to print your log, export to raster formats, or export to HTML.